Alrighty guys, so let's go ahead and jump right in. So we're gonna start off with a frontal wig that Angel Gray's hair from AliExpress sent to me. I will have the links in the description box for you. This is what the inside of the wig looks like and it comes with a few combs attached to it. So it comes with four combs attached and there's also one in the back. There is a lace in the back, but I feel like it's just like there for show. It doesn't really have a lot of hair on it. And this is what the hair looks like. So because the hair is blonde, this is what it looks like against my dark skin. So my first plan is to go ahead and tint the lace and the knots. So I went ahead and wrapped plastic bag around my wig block. And then I placed the wig on top of it and I secured it with T-pins. So I'm going to use a 7B Bourbon Hair Color by Color Tang. And this can be found at Sally's. I am going to mix that in with 10 Volume Developer. I used a liquid developer. Make sure you use a cream. I completely forgot it was a liquid. That's why I used it. But in the end, it was very runny. And I didn't like how it was feeling. Because it can easily seep through your lace. So next time, just make sure that you have a cream developer not a liquid developer. So I went ahead and applied that 7B all over the lace. And as I was applying it, I realized I didn't like where the combs were. So I went ahead and I took out the combs on both sides of the lace. And then I went ahead and just kept, um, you know, kept applying the, the color. So after I applied the color, I made sure that I left it on for at least 30 minutes and then I came back and I gave it a quick rinse. So at the rinse, this is what the difference looks like and that's why I went ahead and tinted the knots and the lace. So I combed everything out to make sure the hair was nice and smooth and then I blew it out so that it can dry really fast for me to go ahead and start doing my color. So first I'm going in with the sky blue semi-permanent color from Ion and this is also available at Sally's. I just use the color right out of the tube like that because I wanted parts of my hair to be like intense blue. So the parts that I put the blue is where I'm going to actually part my hair. So I did it directly in the front of my hair and I also did it on the sides of my hair because I'm only going to part it on the left on the right side of my head and also down the middle. So and then I went ahead and did streaks in the hair, you know, just random streaks. And then I went in with the Tanzanite semi-permanent color and it's also by Ion, also from Sally's and I just applied that to the roots. I did it this way because this color was very very deep and very intense and i wanted my hair to graduate from like a really dark root to like really light ends kind of so i applied that all over the hair all over the roots and i blended it in really nicely and then i went in with my next color which is the ion semi permanent color in the shade purple but this time i mixed in with i mixed in some concealer i mean some concealer wow i mixed in some conditioner so that it can lighten the color a bit and also that way it can actually cover the whole head or the whole wig without me having to use extra color so this was just one tube of it and i applied that from the wefts all the way down the hair and i just kept going until i was almost at the frontal part of the wig Okay, so when I got to the top part of the wig, I went in with the blue and I mixed it into the purple that we had and I applied that to the base of the hair. Okay, so after I applied that all over the base of the hair, Okay, so after everything, I went ahead and added the rest of the blue to my mixing bowl and I added some concealer or some conditioner to it and I applied that to the very top of the hair closer to 
the frontal and also on the parts of the frontal that I hadn't um, yet colored. And I just made sure that everything was beautifully blended together. I also went ahead and brushed it out with a denim brush and I literally left it to process for like an hour, maybe two. I left it in there for a long time. I don't remember exactly, but it was like an hour to two hours and I came back and rinsed it out and washed it. I actually went ahead and shampooed it too so that I can get as much color out of it as I can. And after that was done, this is how much hair I got at the end after everything was done. So this is what the color looks like. It's a really pretty color. I really, really, really love this blue. So I went ahead and pinned the hair to the wig block and I wet the hairline. And I went ahead and just broke up the hairline a little bit, just right at the edge where everything is all uniform. I just tweeze a little tiny bit of it, like just the hairline so it's not so even. Um, but yeah, the hairline looks pretty good already just the you know just the like very front of it and then i went ahead and flat ironed the hair i'm using the infinity pro by con air and this one has the extra long plates so that you can take like a bigger section than um than a normal um a normal flat iron and you know just went ahead and fly iron, flat ironed it i actually got this flat iron from ulta like years ago but i really love it because of the extra long plate so after I went ahead and installed my wig, I was supposed to actually do a get ready with me thank you video. But as I was doing my makeup, you guys, I was just, <laughs> I was doing more makeup and talking and crying and it was just not cute. So I went ahead and did that video that I posted yesterday for you guys. So if you haven't seen that thank you video, you can go back and watch that after you watch this video, of course. But this is the makeup that you saw in that video. I can go ahead and do like the specific makeup video for you guys if you want it just let me know down below in the description box but you know i was talking and crying and it was not cute so i didn't want to post the whole get ready with me routine but yeah so after everything was done you guys this is what my hair looked like i really love the blue i love the ombre effect i well not ombre the highlight low light deep light whatever light it is i'm really loving it okay i also use a different glue in this video but i didn't like how it, it came out the glue and i didn't like how you know how the glue got stuck to my skin so i'm not gonna tell you guys what kind of glue it is until i figure it out but yeah this is it and i'm really loving i actually use eyeshadow as my as my highlighter and i love how it makes my skin look i think i'm getting more into silver silver highlighters let me know down below in the comments what you want to see next also let me know down below if you're going to try this hair color if you haven't yet subscribed make sure you subscribe down below i love you so much and i'll see you guys in my next video bye